Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Angelica Bonilla Fominaya, and I am a BCSA senior presenting my BXA capstone. In this capstone, I'm going to be talking about an art project that I designed called Knitting Myself a Home. To be able to explain this work, I need to get a little bit into the background of what motivated this. So throughout my time in the United States, I have First of all, I immigrated from Colombia at a relatively young age, uh, 10 years old, at a relatively drastic time in my life. Um, I went from having a relatively stable childhood towards struggling a lot with uh, the life of like having an undocumented mother and unstable housing. Within that, I did not have opportunities to go back to Colombia and as such started feeling incredibly disjoint from my culture and lost the concept of what it meant to have a home. I grew up with a lot of traditional furniture. I grew up with a lot of upholstery and other types of things in my Colombian household, including paintings. But this was something that stopped being a, a thing that, that I could have access to as soon as I moved to the US and had to move from house to house. So I wanted to be able to create objects that would represent this type of childhood. I made this painting when I was 16 years old and was trying to explore this part of my identity. And it started becoming a series that would motivate my fundamental practice as an artist. So within this in mind, I started working a lot with algorithms and trying to figure out ways in which I could create knit objects that would represent objects that you would see in my Colombian household. One of these such objects would be um, knit retablos that would take space in my own home or whatever other spaces, objects that I could gift my family so that they, when we were able, would be able to have stable housing, these would be objects that would be part of our household. So with this in mind, I am explaining what my proposed project is for my capstone. I wanted to create a completely knit room that explored my Colombian heritage and the idea of having a completely reversible and knitable room that uses various types of computational techniques to take apart and build over a space. Within this in mind, I wanted to work with traditional Colombian paintings and figuring out ways in which I could use computerized machine knitting to create flat objects that could be displayed in a space, as well as 3D knitting also done with a computerized knitting machine that could be filled up with like different types of plush objects and maintained in a three-dimensional space. And finally, I wanted to use solid knitting, which is a novel type of knitting technique developed by Yuichi Hirose, who is a, uh, a student or staff member here at CMU, who's an incoming PhD student, who's been working on this for a long time. And I've had the privilege of working with him as a research assistant. So I wanted to figure out three multiple ways in which I could combine these types of techniques to be able to build a space that would feel like a home that I could take with me and a portable object that could be in spaces around me. So within this last year, I've been really considering what it means to have a home. My family finally was able to buy a house and I'm trying to be able to make these spaces and these objects for them. So these are the two techniques that I'm mentioning that I ended up using. I wasn't able to actually use the knitting machine to create 3D objects, so I decided to stick to these two things. Solid knitting, which is the specific part that my research with Yuichi focuses on, and computerized machine knitting, which I've been exposed to through Jim McCain's class, algorithmic textiles, and something that I've also explored in my personal time. To implement this project, I started working with smaller pieces so that I would be able to figure out ways in which I could start working with complex color work because a lot of the work that I was using was using this type of knitting technique called jacquard, which is shown in the previous slide. I needed to figure out how something like this could be translated into four color or more types of patterns and structures. So um, with this, I was able to create these four smaller kind of pieces that would serve as um, cup holders or napkins in the Colombian household that I wanted to build. These served as smaller paintings that helped me realize like the feasibility of the objects as well as the material quality and potential concerns that would occur when I was build, uh, building this in the knitting machine. So this allowed me to learn how to thread the machine, how to deal with yarn breakages, as well as figure out which parts of the process could be expedited when I created the larger pieces. 
So these are the larger pieces that I wanted to make. These are Colombian churches that uh, take place in three of the main Caribbean cities in the Colombian Caribbean coast. Cartagena, Barranquilla, and Puerto Colombia. The reason I did not decide to use Santa Marta, which is usually considered the third uh, biggest Colombian city, is because I wasn't able to find like an iconic church that was representative of it. So these were churches that were iconic and representative of my own childhood. And because of traditional Colombian costumbrismo paintings, usually churches are a central theme of the type of works that we see in these spaces. This is how the final objects ended up coming out. It took multiple months for me to be able to actually create these objects because it takes a couple of hours to get them to knit in the machine. And I had a lot of help from PhD student Gabrielle Olson who helped me be able to figure out the um, four color um, process to be able to create these images. It was like actually hard code that was able to provide this, but it was my illustrations as well as research that was able to kind of get these into objects into real life. Finally, I was also able to implement a completely solid knit chair, or at least the upholstery of the chair would be solid knit, to fundamentally create a space where people could impose themselves into my Colombian household by having this chair that can be taken apart, this cover that can be felt with, and this space that people can interact with. So I had the opportunity to present this at my Alice Gallery show, where multiple of my classmates who are not Colombian had the opportunity to interact with the objects of my childhood and interact with the space and feel what it's like to be in this portable home that I built. So uh, thank you so much. And I hope that you enjoyed my capstone project.